1946, Winston Churchill used the phrase special relationship to describe the bond between the United States and the United Kingdom. And the mergers and acquisitions industry has certainly been the beneficiary of, of what has become the longest running love affair in cross-border M&A. We had the pleasure today of, of, of hosting several leaders of the M&A community active in the United States and the United Kingdom. And I was particularly curious to ask them to tell me more about the sameness, a term that we all often hear referred to when describing that relationship between our two countries. And in particular, what is it that's the same or different between the United States and the United Kingdom for M&A versus the United States and other international markets? Here's what they've had to say. Well, I, I, there's a lot of differentiations. I mean, we've had such a long history with the UK as a country. And, and many of the people I deal with have lived in the UK. I lived in the UK for three years uh, early in my career. My submarine was out in Scotland. So I think there's a lot of affinity. And yes, they have some different words in their languages, but we, we've all learned to get overcome that. I certainly have uh, really enjoyed working with the Virgin Money folks, uh, uh, growing a bank from nothing to the sixth largest mortgage bank in the UK. So th there, there's a lot of things that are, are special about the relationship. But in particular, I think people understand each other. They uh, have very much a common governance view of life uh, in the corporate sector. There's some things that are better in the UK. I like the split of the chairman and the CEO position. I think that does give go better governance. 